why do people have sexual fantasies? Well, according to a survey of over 4,000 Americans discussed in a Psychology Today article by psychologist Justin LaMiller, there are a few reasons. The most common reason given by survey participants was simply to experience sexual arousal. While 69.8% of Americans said it was because they were curious about different sensations and sexual experiences. Following that, participants reported having these fantasies to meet unfulfilled sexual needs, escape reality for a while, or express or fulfill a socially taboo sexual desire. See, lots of people have seemingly taboo sexual fantasies, which is why it's important to discuss this topic. According to an article from Insider, evidence suggests that those who have sexual fantasies experience less anxiety and a greater sense of self-esteem. So what are these seemingly taboo thoughts? Well, here are four of the most common sexual fantasies. Like it rough? Apparently over 70% of you do. That's right. Rough sex and dominant sex have been found to be more common than you think. Social psychologist Justin LaMiller surveyed 4,000 Americans and found that 93% of women and 81% of men had fantasized about being dominated, while 85% of men and 76% of women fantasized about being sexually dominant. This may make you think of BDSM, which stands for bondage, discipline, domination, submission, sadism, and masochism. There's a psychological component that is often involved in BDSM. Many, for example, like psychological role play, where an exchange of power is often present. Cosplay and role play. Cosplay? Isn't that the thing people do at Comic Cons? Well, hey, some may do it in the bedroom too. Role play and cosplay are different. According to an article from Insider, cosplay is the act of dressing up like someone or something else, often from a book, movie, or video game. It's not inherently sexual but some people enjoy impersonating a character during sex. However, the term role play often has a sexual connotation as it has often been used to fulfill sexual kinks or desires. Remember that power exchange mentioned before? Dressing up as certain characters or taking on different personas with your partner may just be a way to safely and consensually express that desire. Certified sex therapist Sari Cooper explains in an article for Psychology Today that the old saying that the brain is the biggest sex organ still holds true. How we become aroused in a sexual scenario, either solo or with a partner, begins with fantasy and imagination. Cooper goes on to explain that often her clients are shy about sharing personal fantasies out of fear of being perceived as strange, bizarre, or disgusting by their partner. She adds that not being fully open about one's sexual desires and needs can lead to problems down the road in the relationship. It seems role-playing isn't as taboo as some might think. And as Cooper adds, role-playing is one of many options that provide a safe, non-threatening way for couples to explore. Multi-partner sex. Threesomes, orgies, you may have come across these terms before. And that may be because a sexual fantasy involving more than one other partner is pretty common. A study published in the journal Personality and Individual Differences had 788 British adults across four age groups take a nationwide quota poll. They found that men were more likely to fantasize about having sex with more than one person, often with anonymous partners. For women, the study states that as a proportion of total fantasy output, women were more likely than men to fantasize about same sex and famous partners. But wait, there's more. A 2017 study published in Archives of Sexual Behavior and discussed in an article from Insider found that out of 274 Canadian university undergrads, 64% of them revealed that they had interest in multi-partner sex. When it comes to sexual fantasies, the most important thing to remember is that it's normal and all right to fantasize and explore your sexual desires and interests. If you have a partner, it's a great idea to communicate your sexual fantasies to them. Why? Well, it may just improve your sex life and relationship, according to a survey conducted by psychologist Ari Tuckman. Tuckman explains in an article for Psychology Today that those who were most satisfied with their relationships and sex lives and had the most frequent sex were also the most comfortable sharing their fantasies with their partner. Tuckman adds that these couples are doing a lot of things well which makes it easy to feel safe with the vulnerable intimacy involved in sharing their most secret desires. The question is, will you share your secret desires with someone else in the bedroom or will it remain your prized fantasy? A secret only for you to know 
and enjoy. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or partner. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.